cop watch, policing the police every single day. And a blind man facing serious charges after a surprise run-in with a Phoenix police officer. ABC 15's John Genovese is live at 83rd Avenue in McDowell. And John, he's questioning whether the punishment here really fits the crime. Yeah, that man and his daughter were waiting for the bus on their way home. He went inside that quick trip to use the restroom and says the scuffle that happened next didn't need to. And I was walking like this. Snapping his fingers with one hand, skimming the other on the wall. On Friday, Marco Zapata was trying to find an open urinal in the restroom of this quick trip. I didn't hear anybody coming out. Thinking it was safe to go, he says that's when this happened. So basically, he did this turn and pushed me away, but it screamed to me at the same time. The man pushing Zapata away was a uniformed Phoenix police officer, but he says he didn't know that because he's blind, and the officer never told him. And I go, okay, no, 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 this is not going to happen to me. Zapata says he gets cursed at or pushed around almost daily because of his condition. He admits he started pushing back until he felt that officer's radio, then let up and was taken to the ground. And I said a couple times to him, I'm blind, please leave me alone. I didn't know you were a police. And, and when that happened, I, my, my, this, this thing came out and it was on the floor. He saw that thing in the floor. And I turn around to him and I go, look at my eyes, I'm blind. Zapata spending the night in jail. All over a misunderstanding, he says the officer chose to escalate. He could have said, hey, I'm over here, instead of react so aggressively, too aggressively to me. Now, Phoenix police say that officer did suffer some minor injuries to his face. Zapata was not hurt. He's now hired an attorney and plans to fight those charges in court. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, ABC 15, Arizona. Arizona cop beats up blind man in bathroom, arrests him, because he accidentally ran into him. A blind man who attempted to defend himself when he was assaulted by a man who he later learned was a police officer, is now the one facing assault charges. By Jack Burns, June 23rd. 2018. Phoenix, Arizona, a blind man was arrested and charged with assaulting a police officer after the man says he accidentally bumped into the officer in a public restroom while trying to locate a urinal, and the officer responded by yelling and shoving him. Marco Zapata said he was just trying to navigate his way around a public restroom when he ran into an officer and then attempted to defend himself after the officer shoved him. Zapata told ABC 15 that it all started as he was snapping his fingers and running his hand along the wall to find an open urinal. I didn't hear anybody coming out, then, I heard somebody screaming to me and turn around really quick and push me, I go, okay, no, no this is not going to happen to me, Zapata said. The man, who travels by city bus, told reporters that he gets cursed at and assaulted often on the streets of Phoenix and decided to defend himself. But after he felt the officer's radio, he quickly realized the man was likely a police officer. That unnamed peace officer quickly took Zapata to the ground with such force his eyepiece fell on the floor. The blind man began screaming at the officer telling him he was blind and asking for mercy and understanding. I said a couple times to him, I'm blind. Please, leave me alone I didn't know you were a police officer, Zapata said, noting that after his eyepiece fell out, he addressed the officer again. He saw that thing on the floor, Zapata said. I turn around to him and I go, look at my eyes, I'm blind, I didn't know you were a police officer and, even that, he didn't care. In lieu of grace and compassion, the blind man got charged with assault on a police officer. We searched Maricopa County's arrest records online and could not find a record of any charges being filed against Zapata, even though he spent the rest of the night in jail. ABC 15 reported that they confirmed with Phoenix PD that Zapata was indeed arrested and now Zapata has hired an attorney and plans to fight the charges in court. Phoenix police also confirmed the officer sustained minor injuries to his face but those minor abrasions would never have taken place, arguably had the officer not shoved the man in the first place.
The charges against Zapata are likely felony charges since Governor Doug Ducey has given protected status to police officers, even when they are off duty, by signing legislation that mandates felony charges against citizens who knowingly or unknowingly assault police officers. The law is known as the Blue Lives Matter law and it mandates strict penalties for assault on police officers. Zapata's case could have taken a tragic turn if the officer had actually felt physically threatened by the blind man. Had the officer perceived his life was in danger, Zapata could have been shot and killed for fighting back after being assaulted by the cop. Officer-involved shootings in Phoenix are reaching critical levels with the metropolitan area's officer-involved shootings outnumbering Los Angeles' officer-involved shootings even though LA has more than twice the population. To date, there have been over 42 officer-involved shootings in Phoenix and only 36 in Lane. The problem is so bad that the county is now paying researchers to investigate exactly how and why Phoenix seemingly trigger-happy cops are shooting citizens. For now, they apparently feel justified locking up blind people for non-existent threats. Police use who may want to retaliate against him physically. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch, and I just wanted you to know that uh, I am using this stuff under fair use. And uh, also, uh, remember to like and subscribe this channel. Uh, also, too, uh, keep in mind, I do not make any money on YouTube. Uh, this is uh, five hours work a day, uh, you know, fighting for freedom. And uh, I do, I, you can donate with PayPal and Patreon. Uh, I just want you to think about this. If everybody gives uh, to PayPal and Patreon, Patreon is every month. Actually, PayPal you can do every month. I have 12,000 subscribers. If everybody gives, I can uh, quit my regular job and go full-time investigations on Charlotte County and possibly even more and beyond. So just keep that in mind. If everybody helps out, I can go full-time doing this. Thanks.